Thank you for joining me here at Pilates Workouts Online. Today we're going to be doing some more reformer jumping with the Pilates Arc. If you missed my last video, check that out here. And we're going to be doing side jumping today. So we're going to be laying sideways um, for our jump series. If you are looking for more ways on how you can include the arc into your at home or teaching practice, join me at PilatesWorkoutsOnline.com for Pilates Arc Training, where we go over how to use the arc as a standalone piece of equipment on the reformer and in conjunction with the tower. So hit the subscribe button and that like button and let's start moving with the arc. We're going to start seated sideways on the arc and again I just have the arc so it perfectly fits right over these shoulder blocks. It's meant to come on the reformer. And I have that single red spring, so about one full spring, depending on what machine you have. But again, adjust the spring so it's appropriate for your body. The jump board is attached. We're just gonna sit back on the arc. So just like we did in our mat series, you just wanna scoop back so your butt is close to that back edge. So a few options here, what you can do for your jumping is this, I'm just gonna lay down on my side and I'm gonna support my head with my hand. I'm gonna take my foot to the jump board, and if this spring was heavier, this could be an option where we're just laying here doing some single side leg presses, kind of similar to doing single leg squats, but you're laying on your side and you're supported by the arc, so a lot nicer. Otherwise, we can also go into a jumping series. So we can just press and jump out and land. Press and jump away and resisting it back in. So it's nice because you're supported by the arc here. A little bit more comfortable on the body compared to when we just lay flat on our side. And we can do our full side leg, leg series here. So as I jump out, I can sweep my leg forward, jump out, sweep my leg back, kick it up to the sky, maybe do some small circles, small circle. We can reverse that circle. And we can also do our high knee. So jump out, knee up to your chest, and reach back out. Whoops, <laughs> crash landing. <laughs> so jump out, knee to your chest and reach it back out. Getting that leg back down in time so you can resist that spring as you land. And this is just a nice way to fire up those glutes. We could do this bent knee position external so it rotates so the toe and knee face up and it's almost like we're doing a half rock. So jump out knee up and back out. Let's do two more. And then we'll stay landing back in. I'm just gonna hold the leg to straight. I'm gonna press into the arc with my front hand. I'm gonna lift up into a side bend, lower down, bend back in. Press out, lift up side bend, lower, and bend back in. So you can kind of make this a little bit of a delayed movement. You can also do this with jumping. Otherwise you can just hold. You can even just hold out and lift and lower the body. Good, getting in some side obliques and maybe also giving that leg a little bit of a break from jumping. Let's do one more. We'll lower back down, and then we'll bend that knee in. Another option is to grab onto your loops. So we can do a few things with the loops. Let's start with it on your foot. So I'm gonna pull that strap so I have some slack. I saw that same spring that we were using for jumping. I'm gonna take that on my foot, and I'm gonna lay back down onto my side. I'm gonna start re reaching this leg out nice and long, and then I'll reach the leg forward, and then I'll pull it back. Reach the leg forward, and pull back. Let's do that two more times. And then on that last one, we'll hold that leg lined up with your hip, rotate so the toe faces up, let's reach the leg up to the sky, and then pull down. Reach it up, and pull down. So just taking your time as you move. Let's hold that leg down to the height of the hip on this next one, and then you'll just bend the knee in, and then kick it back out. So bend the knee in, and press out. You can do this in combination with your jumping series or you can do these as two separate different exercises in two different classes. <laughs> let's hold that leg bent in and let's take that loop off the foot and into the hand. So I'm just gonna bend both legs in front of me, reaching the hand up to the ceiling. I'm gonna pull down my pelvis and then reach back up to the sky. Pull straight down and back up. Let's do two more. On that second one, we'll hold the hand down to your hip. Let's reach that hand forward out in front of you, and then we're gonna pull back your hip. Reach it forward, and pull back. Making sure not to pass the height of your shoulder as you reach forward. On this next one, let's hold at your hip. We could bend the elbow, reach the hand forward, and press to the jump board for our tricep. And we can also hold the arm towards the jump board, reach the hand to the ceiling for the tricep. So a couple different angles you can work here. Let's do one more. 
we'll release that arm and then we'll release the strap. Go ahead and set that back down. Thank you for joining me for today's sideline series using the Pilates reformer and the arc and that jump board. <laughs> um, and as you can see, we got a few different exercises in. We were able to do some side jumping. We also included that sideline foot and strap and hand and strap work. So lots of different ways that you can utilize the arc within your side body series. If you are looking for more ways on how to include the ARC into your self or teaching practice, join me at PilatesWorkoutsOnline.com for my Pilates ARC training. It's a comprehensive training that goes over how to use the ARC on the mat, the reformer, and with the tower. Hit that subscribe button and that like button, and I will see you guys back here in the virtual studio soon.